everyone. Okay, today's video. I'm gonna try several different uh, tutorials on how to make pom-poms. This is, uh, well, I went to Spotlight this morning. <laughs> the kids back at school, you know. Okay, I went to Spotlight this morning. As you do, Spotlight, if you're American, is like Michael's Hobby Lobby, those kind of places, but without the stupid healthcare thing. Okay, so they had several things for making pom poms. There's one we're gonna try. Here's another that looks like a tuning fork that we're gonna try. And this is another one we're gonna try. There's all sorts of different sizes. This looks most like the uh, the clover one, which is one I wanted to try, but they didn't have any clover ones because our spotlight is ghetto. And the last one is this one from Birch, which, well, there is an instruction manual in there, but it's very small. Uh, I guess we're just um, gonna make it up as we go along. Um, and I got a bunch of these for this video, because we don't want to use nice yarn. Um, it's 100% polyester. Okay, these were a dollar, so we can use these to make pom-poms. And as you can see, I'm wearing the same shirt as I was wearing yesterday because when I came home, uh, Molly dribbled all over me. And in case we fail at making pom-poms with all these things and our trusty fork and our Morphe palette, which um, is an eyeshadow palette, but why we need this will become more clear in the video. Um, we have these pre-made pom-poms um, to hang up and pretend that we made in case we fail because drop the fork um, I've tried the, a couple of these methods before and my pom-poms fell apart so I've got pom-poms just in case okay let's get on with it oh I forgot to say there's also this method which requires toilet rolls I failed at the first hurdle. Oh, maybe that works. Um, <laughs> you guys, I cannot get the pom poms off. Oh my god! Yeah, you, it's supposed to be. A, it's supposed to be a string of pom pom. Okay. Oh, it's all tangled. Why is it all tangled? Oh man. I made a pom-pom, everybody. <laughs> okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first three, two, three pom-poms are made without any pom-pom makers. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to use a fork. Woo! Um, it literally says just a... This yarn is beautiful. Look at that way. Um... This, yeah, there, there's nothing you want to make more than pom-poms with this stuff. I'm going to be covered in this. Right, so it says to... Wrap the yarn around the fork in... I think it actually just... Wait. Do we do it in a figure of eight? I feel like we should be doing it in a figure of eight, but I don't think we do. Yeah, no, you just wrap it around. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it around. How how much do we... Oh, okay, quite a lot. So the last time I made one like this, um, when I cut into it, because you'll, you'll see what we do, um, but when I cut into it at the end, all of my little stringy bits just kind of fell out. I don't know if my knot wasn't tight enough, if I didn't have enough pom pommy bits, if I trimmed it too much. Who the heck knows? Okay. So. I think now we cut it. There. Just uh, 
right there for a second. And we need a longer bit. Uh, that'll do. These are my nobody touches sewing scissors, by the way. I can't find a normal pair. Actually, in saying that, it's probably a good thing because the lady on the video I watched last night did it's not going to fit through the video. Okay, it did. Um, she said you need a very sharp pair of scissors for this. Well, lady in the video, you are in luck because I have a very... She did not have a sharp pair in that video. If anybody's seen it, there's a video of a lady making a pom... Uh, like a really big pom-pom on uh, YouTube somewhere and her scissors are not sharp. Okay, so we've got to tie this in a really tight knot. Oh, um, okay, there's a trick I learned last night which I've actually forgot about by the same lady, which is if you, you know you do a normal knot bit like that, but if you do it a second time, once you tighten it, no, no lady in the video, it doesn't work. It's supposed to not, maybe it's because I'm using 100% beautiful polyester. Okay. That's, that's literally as tight as I can make it, so. <laughs> Looks like a friggin' meatball. Okay, we're gonna take it off. And now what we're supposed to do with our super duper sharp scissors is cut your folds or wraps, I suppose. without cutting the middle string <laughs> which I'm perilously close to doing oh. now what? okay so in the video they just show them trimming it my problem is this, um, the ones in the very middle are now ridiculously short from where it's been wrapped around the fork, right? So, those are going to come out real fast. And also, I can't seem to... <laughs> Mine's already coming apart, yay! <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, my mine's already like. Hi. Is this? <laughs> so that's um, that's making pom poms with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Okay, the next one is just wrapping this beautiful yarn around your hand. I apologise if my hands are a little bit green. I was dyeing yarn yesterday and I'm a rookie again. I wasn't wearing gloves. They, they wrap quite a lot of yarn around their hand. I suppose it depends how big you want your pom-pom to be. There is a lot of fluff coming off this. There we go. Okay, how big... How much yarn am I supposed to do here, Lion Brand? I'm watching a Lion Brand video on how to do this. Mine, mine's all starting to slide because it's that beautiful, catchy, grippy polyester. <laughs> um, it's starting to slide off my hands already. Um, this yarn is currently a dollar at Spotlight and you can feel the, uh, you can feel the quality. Um, okay, that that's <laughs> my fingers are starting to turn blue. Okay, I think that's enough yarn. Um, there we go, and it says to <sighs> <laughs> look at my finger. Hello. It's 
not even that tight. Okay, you need to tie it around the middle again with, with what is going to be great difficulty. Because I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get this off my hand. Okay, there we go. Okay, you need to tie it around the, around the middle there. Stay in there, y'all. So this has got the same principle as the fork one, just on a bigger scale. I'm going to try that wrapping it twice on the knot business again. Ugh. Hey, this one actually feels better. This this one feels better um, than the fork one. I don't know whether it's because it's got more more yarn. And look, look, <laughs> it's not even in the middle. Good job. Good job, Alison. Good job. Okay. Yeah, this one... That, what is that? This one feels better. And what I'm going to... Is this... No, that's too big. Never mind. I won't do that. We'll just try and trim it by eye. They trim it by eye in the video, so let's do what they do in the video, because otherwise I'm taking their crappy video and making it better. Wasn't that what I was trying to do? Who knows? Okay. Oh. This better not blunt my fabric scissors. I'm gonna have to buy new fabric scissors, aren't I? That, okay. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, let's cut the other, let's cut the other side now. This looks like friggin' Raggedy Ann's hair. Apart from anything else, because my tie was wonky in the middle, one side is going to be way longer than the other, right? This one looks a bit better than the other. Um, I can see that if I tidied this one up a little bit, you know... Let's let's flatten it out and tidy it. Where did where did you come from? Let's let's tidy her up a little bit. Come on. So the easiest apparently the easiest way to tidy up a pom pom is to flatten it out into a circular disc. Um, some people use a template, which I tried to do, but my template's too big. Um, which is actually what those uh, the the ones we're going to use from Spotlight do. Don't cut through the string, Alison. Come on now. There we go. Um, yeah, the ones the te the ones from Spotlight and stuff they're essentially a circle template for doing this. Um, so once you've trimmed it and tidied it up one way, you wanna squish it the other way like like that get over where are you come from okay I'm gonna squish it that way and then trim it around in a kind of circle that way too see mostly I'm pretty sure I get so anal about this that I will end up trimming it until there is nothing left to trim and that's why my pom-poms always fail so spectacularly this one this one feels pretty good even if it did cut off the circulation to my hands that that's, that's sort of circular okay and then you fluff it hey look at that it sort of is a pom pom. Sort of, maybe, kind of. Close enough. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the third one in that Lion Brand video, which I will link in the comments if you really want to watch it, um, was essentially 
the same principle as wrapping it around your hand. They had a bit of cardboard and they wrapped it around the cardboard and then did the exact same thing. So we're going to move on to the next one, which she literally, this crazy bitch, I don't know who she is. She gets the whole thing, this is, and then ties it around the middle like that and then cuts through it. So we're going to do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tie this as tight as humanly possible for me. You ready? There we go. Go, go, superhuman strength. Okay. I still don't think that's tight enough, but anyway. So she gets the whole thing and just... Did she cut that? Oh, I'm going to cut this way because I don't want to chop it all off. There we go. If anyone's interested, my dog just huffed like... She is sick of my shit. That I didn't share breakfast with her, probably. They're all on a diet at the moment, so they're, they're not happy. They're not happy doggos. Um. <laughs> this looks like a murder scene. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, one dollar yarn. I'm really sorry for sacrificing you in this way. I think I got them all. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other side. <laughs> like, this is one doll yarn, and I still feel bad. Treat all skeins the same. Slice and a dice. See, I think she cuts like the right at the end off of the, the whole thing, and it's like, well, why bother? You can just cut through this way and uh, just cut them in half instead of cutting bits off. Although I am cutting quite a bit off. <laughs> um. Excuse me. I apologize. I just had a McDonald's coffee and that was not great. Um, you yeah, know, there's a couple there still. To... <laughs> there's been a murder. Um, Yay. Yeah, she didn't trim any of it at all, so I'm not going to trim any of it either. What you could do, I mean, this... If you stuck some googly eyes on this and then hung it up from your kid's bedroom or whatever, they'd probably enjoy it. Um, none of the bits are coming out. It's it's pretty... It's, it's fairly secure. I mean... I wouldn't stick it on my hat, though. Do you know what I mean? Okay, on to the next things. I think we'll get... Mm, Oh, let's do the stupid toilet roll one. Okay, on this one, take this attractiveness off. Um, you clamp the end between your bog rolls, and that's that's English for toilet rolls. And then you, uh, she said you wrap sixty times. So excuse me while I. Do some wrapping. So, how are you? How you been? There is red yarn all over my keyboard. Um, while I was in the spotlight, I saw a ridiculous set of loom knitting things. Has anyone ever tried loom knitting? If you've tried loom knitting, can you tell me in the comments how easy it is? And also, what the heck can you make with it? Still wrapping. I'm sorry, I do not. I'm not gonna 
you can make me go faster with the speed button at the bottom one. Uh, slowly, my you know, my uh, thingies here are getting crushed. I, I don't know if that's meant to happen. Although I suppose it's prefer it's preferable to my fingers getting crushed like they were a minute ago. I suppose. So this is exactly the same as the one I just did with my fingers, just with toilet rolls, right? Okay, for this one you're back over there because um, to make this one, which is how to quickly make a pom-pom rug, this is how they do it, um, it requires this beautiful Morphe palette and it, it really just needs something big and square. Um, but this happened to be on my shelf. I wanted to use a nitty noddy but I can't find one. Um, they wrap it. If anyone's interested, this is such a gem palette. <laughs> um, they wrap the yarn around like that, and I put you over there because uh, this is quite large. Uh, wrap the yarn around and around and around and around and around, and it falls on the floor. Uh, this is why you need a yarn ball. I'll be doing some. I watched a video about knitting hacks yesterday, and one of them is a hack for the yarn ball. So we'll be looking at that. Uh, maybe next week? I don't know. Anyway, one of the things they use a yarn ball, ball as a colander thing. I don't use one. We'll do that. Um, okay. I don't know how much they wrap it around. I'm just going to sit here and wrap it around for a bit. This is yet another one of those beautiful dollar skeins of. It's sort of setting my fingers on fire. Um, I don't know whether I'm supposed to be putting this tight or not, but it's fairly tight. Um, yeah, so the idea of this is you can make several in one go by tying it in certain places. They use a frame in theirs. I don't have a frame, so I'm just using this. I've seen it done with the back of a chair as well. I'm not freaking dragging a chair. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's enough, but it's, it's enough for me. I'm just going to put that down. Um, I'm going to do three across and three across the other side, so we're going to need three ties. No, we will need six ties. Three for me. Come on, Alison. Thank you for that beautiful smell, Saffron. Okay. I'm going to tie around each thing using that double knot tie business that the lady from the other video taught me, which I'm going to find it and I'm going to link it. She spends like half an hour making one pom pom and I'm here making 27, none of which are very good <laughs> so far. <laughs> I, I've got every hope that the actual pom-pom makers that I have purchased from Spotlight will be good. Okay, we've got one tie. Um, if they're not good, I'm going to cry. And never, never make pom-pom again. Did you, remember when you were a kid and you made um, a cardboard circle kind of like this? This is the end of the pom pom string, by the way. Um, kind of like that, and my nan taught me how to make them. Um, and you sat there for days, hours, weeks, threading yarn through them over and over again. I'm pretty sure that's what a pom pom maker is supposed to do, but quicker. So we're gonna. Although the ones we used to make were like as big as my head. Um, me and my cousin used to make up dance routines with them. Yeah. We were the cool kids. <laughs> okay, we have three days. One of them is really not very tight. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's 
do the other side now. Yes, I have thrown the toilet roll version away in disgust. And by away, I mean on the other side of my desk. Basically, if you want to make a pom-pom with your hand, or a toilet roll, whatever, go for it. I do not recommend, so far, I do not recommend the fork method. Um, that shit just fell apart immediately. So like, I'm trying this, I'm not trying for any particular reason. I do not want a pom-pom rug in my house. I wouldn't mind a felted ball rug. I want to make you one of those because I don't need one. But... Okay. Last time. Last last time. And then I've got to somehow fit fit scissors in this party that I'm having here. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm supposed to be doing real work, which is the noise that you can hear is my calendar going ping, ping, ping. Do work. Do accounts. But here I am. Making pom poms instead. Okay, last one. Also, not very tight. So, so some of these are probably not going to work. Okay, you're supposed to cut like halfway between them. There we go. This better not ruin my palette. Um, out there maybe. This is going to ping off, isn't it? Straight in my face. Okay, here we go. These are six pom poms, maybe. You're supposed to cut in between the ties, and then I guess what do we do? We, we I suppose you tidy it up so that it looks better. What is this? Where did this come from? Is this already? These are not very tight. These would not last. Um, you could probably make a pom-pom wall hanging with them. As long as nobody's going to touch it. This is almost as bad as the scissor one. <laughs> they didn't even, I don't, I, like, I'm barely touching it. <laughs> I'll persevere because some of these are more tight than that one was. Okay, let's chop that. Yeah, see that one's a bit more like tighter. So I suppose you could use I want to say elastic. You could use oh, I don't know, something, something that would not slide apart as easy as polyester. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe that's why I'm fucking up. Just realised the dog's asleep on the middle. It's like, what's that noise? Is he snoring? It's adorable. Okay, last two. <laughs> okay, so are you ready? I'm gonna get them all. Dudes. <laughs> Um, I don't think that one worked very well. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them all together, okay? So you can see some of them are good and some of them are not, not great. Um, you know, you can trim these. Where's the one I fucked up? There. It's the a full one, and it, yeah. Okay. Okay, this one, there's no hope for it. It's, it that's just, that one's gone. Uh, that one's going to spider heaven. Okay, so we've made, made five-ish 
okay pom pom so yes you could make a rug would i recommend it <laughs> um also to get these to be little cute ones you would have to do an awful lot of trimming now the lady in the video that i watched last night incidentally hi the lady in the video i watched last night she said to sit on a sheet on the floor to trim all these um because by the time you're done you just have to pick up pretty much everything you own and put it in the bin um i'm gonna put that away now let's move on to the ones we've paid money for <laughs> Okay, I've decided to leave you over there for this one as well. Um, this is the Birch Pom Pom Maker in three sizes, 20, 35 and 55 centimetres. That's what they look like. I don't know whether that's one or two. I'm going to read the instructions now and find out. Okay, the instructions. Sorry, I'm trying to understand what this tiny sheet says. Okay, it says, I think you're supposed to pop the little ones out. I'm going to try a small one because otherwise we'll be here all friggin' day. Um, it says to put them together. I'll show you on the big one because it's otherwise we wouldn't be able to see it. Together, so that the V is in the middle, so it's like that. I guess that's so you can get your scissors in to cut it. So. Yeah, if I do this one, we will be here literally all day. So I'm going to, I'll go for the, the one that's not tiny, the medium one. And we shall select some things that will fall on the floor. I'll select this beautiful, it's kind of a teal colour. It's showing up pretty blue on the thing, but it's kind of a teal colour. Um, since the snoring dog is guarding the other one. It says... Place the other to form a V groove, lay out length of yarn doubled. Take yarn through the centre and around rings, continue until a desired bulk is achieved. Cut between the rings, following the V groove with two. Okay, but why have we got to hold it doubled? I suppose to tie. I'm, I'm gonna guess that it's you're supposed to do that and then so that you can anchor it through the hole, which doesn't work. Yeah. Hi, um. How do you get the yarn off of the ball through the middle? How much yarn does it need? Guys, I'd have to cut lengths of yarn to put through the, like, where? And then you have to, how do you do it, how? Fine. I think um, I I I'm, I think this one can just pretend it never existed. There we go. Well, what birch one? I don't know. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is the this is the one that looks like a tuning fork, and quite honestly. Reading the instructions, 
uh, this is exactly the same as using the actual fork. So I don't even don't bother with this, otherwise this video is going to be like 900 years long. Um, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I thought too. Yeah, we're not... Okay. On to this one. Let's use a small one. There's, there's like four sizes of these. This is a kind of small one, but okay, so let me get the instructions. Um, you open it like this, and then I think you just wrap the yarn around one half from one end to the other, and then you join, like, just go straight across and do it on the other side. Um, So, okay, you start this end, wrap along there, close it, and then you're like close to this end so you can carry on so you don't even have to break it. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I'll do that and come back to you because otherwise it's kind of boring. I'll, I'll just do that and then show you. I don't know if I cut this. I think I do. So what I've done is, wait, how do I? Okay, as you can see, it's all wrapped around. Do hickey, and then you close it, and then I think we're gonna attack it with some scissors. But first, I'm gonna cut this because I think I think I'm supposed to. Um, you cut between the things in the channel here. I think this is kind of like the one I threw on the floor, except easier, <laughs> easier to use because you don't have to thread it through and then keep cutting off lengths of friggin' yarn, which... No! Mine came open! No, don't come open! Stay, stay closed! Shh! Shh! Don't pop open! Don't ruin it! Don't ruin it now! I hope that's not going to happen the other side. Uh, I don't know how to hold it so that it doesn't pop open. It's still trying to pop open. Okay, I think I've got it. <laughs> um, the thing is, you have to cut it before you can thread something around it to secure it. <laughs> Don't you pop open. Okay, I'm approaching my fingers with the very sharp scissors right now. I'm scared because these are effing sharp. Okay. Pop open. Don't you do it. Oh, I've missed one. Okay. With great difficulty, now I have to put some yarn in between these two beautiful areas of what are attempting to escape. Come on now. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh. I hope. Oh, no, it popped open. That's why it's doing that. Okay. I hope the clover one is better. I might order some clover ones and try it. Um, they're supposed to have clover at our local spotlight, but obviously, or well, at spotlight, but our one is obviously far too ghetto to have have clover there. I'm going to wrap it around again. So I just crossed over the yarn and I'm going to wrap it around and tie it this side because I feel like that would be better. Okay. Let's tie it. It's annoying because I really like the idea of this one, but and it comes in so many sizes. Maybe it's a oh. practice thing. Okay, tied. <laughs> um, there's 
a couple of little stringy bits that might need to it's this is a moment of there's a few little strands that haven't been cut through properly How do you actually get it out? How do I get it out? How do I release the bum bum? Oh! Ah, okay. No, that's not helping. Okay, it says gently prize a butt. <laughs> okay, how do you gently prize it butt? Let me have a look at one of these ones. Okay. Gently prizing a part means. worked your it just needs a tiny bit of trimming I'm gonna just trim that tiny bit there look at that sharp set nobody asked you she's hopping on the desk again That'll do. Woohoo! So, the pom pom makers work. The last one I have is called a pom pom loom. It works on the same principle as this, kind of? Not really. Okay. So what it says to do is wrap your yarn a lot around half of it or around all of it because it's a half circle and then once you're done you tie 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 around it and then it should make a pom pom. So let's try that. I'll be back with my full up thingo in five minutes. Okay. And this was easy, but it does keep sliding off and shit, so I, at the moment, I'm preferring the last one, so, you know. Uh, I'm going to trim that there. And what it says to do is, so it's got these little notches, so you've got one string here and one over this end. And it says to cut that one there and then use those two comically short strings to tie it together. Dude, look how short it is. How am I supposed to do this? Now, what does it say to do? Okay, so it's to cut between them. Let's start this end. It's already secure, so I don't, I'm not gonna freak out like the law. I'm so glad I've got sharp scissors for this. I hope polyester doesn't blunt scissors. Does polyester blunt scissors? Somebody tell me. Somebody help me. That being said, 
I did catch my husband with these at Christmas cut, cutting wrapping paper so they do actually kind of need he did almost die don't worry those of you who sew and cut fabric will know exactly how I felt when I found him doing that I was like there was some expletives many many expletives about what the heck he was doing so it was just paper I'm like hey man I'll we'll be cutting through wood Now we're happy. <laughs> how do we open it? We do not. <laughs> it just falls off. Um, it's, it's it's pretty good. Um, needs a bit of trimming. I mean, needs a. It's ooh, maybe this will work this time does look okay so to get your uniform pom-pom trim make a big like a pom-pom sandwich squish it real hard and then trim around the edge and then once you've trimmed around the edge of this bit you squeeze it the other way I don't know if I've squeezed it like, you know, like it. I haven't. I don't know if I've squeezed it evenly. Uh, one side feels much fatter than the other on my <laughs> on my pom pom sandwich. Okay, that 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 that'll do. Let me squeegee it the other way. Let me squash it the other way now. Um. And then you, yeah. Squash it again really hard with your fingers here and then go around. Thank you very much, Havana Marble Pom Pom Trim, for providing me with these circular discs of cards so I didn't have to go all blue Peter on my cereal boxes. Jeez, that's a reference. Okay. Now the only thing is, I suppose you could do something about this is that there's no tie to hang it from because, in my wisdom, I only did short tie. I suppose if you'd left this one dangling, I did originally leave that one dangling down, but it kept getting in the way while I was wrapping it round, so I cut it off. Now, if I hadn't have cut it off, it would. It would have a dangle. Um, this one doesn't feel particularly tight. I think our winner is still this one. So that was our last one. Let's talk about it now, just for five seconds, because this is friggin' epic video already. We tried. What did we try? We tried cutting off the speculation to my hand. That did an okay job, didn't it? That 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 was this one. Um, it wasn't too bad. I think uh, the tighter you can get the middle, the better, your, more stable your pom poms are going to be. So that's probably the main takeaway from this: is make that middle tie as tight as you can. Um, where's the fork one? Hi, fork one. Oh. <laughs> I've already thrown the fork one away because it looked like this. Um, the fork method, again, if you can get that tight, the middle tied as tight as you can, might maybe it will be fine. But for me, it just falls apart every single time and just makes a mess and is a waste of your time, my time, everybody's time. Um, cutting an entire cheap skein of wool in half really in half but you know cutting the whole thing makes a real good base for an alien and that's pretty much it I mean that's a lot of trimming if you want to get it even there's there's no way put some googly eyes on it hang it from the ceiling oh, I might do that later if I can find some googly eyes that I might yeah that that's pretty much all that that is good for so best dollar ever I suppose if you were doing like a Halloween thing or something for school whatever, for your kids, they would probably, 
I think my kid would freak out at being able to cut a whole skein of wool in half. So that would probably be a fun thing to do with kids. These, again, it works, but you do need to have that thing so tight, so tight, um, to keep them from falling apart. Um, yes, it works. Does it work well? There's mixed results. There, there's mixed results in them. So, the tying a bunch at the same time. Maybe I'm just not very good at making pom poms. I don't know. What else do we use? Oh, yeah. The birch thing that went on the floor. I don't have time to sit here making lengths of this that I can thread through. No, just no birch, no. In fact, the packet, that can go on the floor as well. Awful thing. Even, um, the, you know, the one where you used to thread it through as a kid and the cardboard through the hole and even they have improved that now. You can make a slice and do it yourself through the hole without having to thread it through the hole like that. That's doing it yourself is ahead of the friggin birch one that I spent five dollars on. Okay, so our number two one was this thing. This works pretty good. And you do get three sizes for, I think it's, where's my bag? I'll tell you how much it was. I think it was roughly five dollars. Is that the receipt? Yes. It was roughly $5, let me tell you. It was... For the pom pom loom? Yeah. $4.25. So you do get three sizes for $4.25 from this one. These things. It works. That's fine. But our number one pom pom, our star pom pom maker, is these. This pack is by Crafter's Choice from Spotlight. And this pack, which has four sizes in it, was ten dollars. Sounds expensive, but you do get four sizes. And by far and away, it makes the best pom pom. What was the point of this video? I'm gonna hang this up now. <laughs>